All right, Andy, this one's for you. This is an older Linux distribution that uses Deb Package Management, and uh, this is OpenBox as well. And in my opinion, I think this is OpenBox done right. We are looking at Madbox right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. You know, every now and then somebody sends me a really good gem of a suggestion and this one fits the bill. This one weighs in at 388 megs, perfect for a small little flash drive. And this is a wonderful little distribution that you can take with you. Now this was released in 2010. Uh, so this is an older distribution. But the thing is, a good friend of mine from uh, the di Linux distro community suggested that I take a look at this. Uh, the very same person that requested the Mangakamo distribution. Remember that one when I did that review? Yeah, that was a funny one, wasn't it? Well, he suggested that I take a look at this. And let me tell you what. This is open box done right, as you will see here. Now, you'll notice on uh, the pan there's a panel here on this one. And this is using a desk bar which is kind of cool and it gives you a number of options that you can configure on this. You can adjust its size and style, icon effects and that sort of thing. You can define where uh, it goes. You can define which launchers you can have on this. Uh, there are also advanced tools that you can use as well. And all in all, this is a really nice panel. You do get two desktops to choose from, and the way you navigate them is just by pressing an empty area on the panel right here. Another interesting aspect of this is uh, it has a pop-out terminal. Okay, And as you can see, I already issued a command earlier, uname-r, and it tells us that we're using kernel 2.6.35 hyphen 22 generic. This uses Deb package management, so it's great for beginners and that sort of thing. Okay, now you get a power button, you get uh, your uh, clock here, a notification area where you can adjust your volume and network settings, and then your desktops, of course. Then, of course, there's another launcher for the terminal. Why they have two terminal launchers in the default setup is beyond me, but it is what it is. Okay, and uh, going further here, you get the Chromium web browser, and then of course you get quick access uh, to your uh, file management system, and this is actually using PCMan FM, which is a nice lightweight file manager for you. So, uh, very nice indeed. Okay, now let's have a look and see what applications you get with this, and it looks like it has quite a bit for that small little download. In accessories, you get uh, the file manager that I just showed you. You get the lightweight leaf pad text editor, and then the LX terminal. In graphics, you just get Mirage for viewing images. In internet, you get the Chromium web browser. In program, in programming, you get Gini. In sound, in video, you get Dead Beef, Gnome M Player and Volti. In System Tools, you get HTOP, System Profiler, and Benchmark. HTOP is a really, really nice, lightweight uh, file manager, and it actually runs in a terminal. Let me show you this. If you haven't seen a, a demonstration on this before, in one of my other uh, tutorials or uh, reviews. And you can see here that this is not using much memory at all. It's only using 116 megs of RAM, uh, which is really nice. And the CPU usage is very low, even in this virtual machine running on a single core processor. And you can also see that below here in the graphical representation on Conky down below here. All right, let's see what else you get with this. In system tools, 
Okay, we already covered the system tools. And then you have your preferences where you can customize the look and feel. This is running LX Appearance. And uh, let's see how many themes. Not a whole lot of themes, but I think the idea behind this one was to keep it lightweight. Uh, you can adjust the color themes on this. Uh, there are just two icon sets this comes with for right now but you can easily install and add more. Uh, two cursor themes, and then you can do some other little tweaks here. All right. Uh, you can also change your monitor settings. You have a network connections, the open box configuration manager. You can adjust your power management and your screen saver here. And then administration, you have additional drivers, Gparted, an install link, and this comes with the Synaptic Package Manager. So this is definitely a nice little lightweight distribution that you might want to use on older hardware. Uh, and uh, I would recommend having uh, 128 megs as a minimum. Uh, memory requirement for this and this should run beautifully on a 500 megahertz processor maybe a you know 500 to 750 or a 1 gigahertz processor so or this will be a gem on older hardware so this was a good suggestion I like how this looks it is definitely um, it's definitely uh, open box done right. There are even some compositing effects that you can apply with this. Uh, there is a options for editing your conky right here. Uh, this is where you can adjust your wallpapers and it gives you a nice little selection of them as well. Surprisingly though I can't figure out why they gave us uh, Ubuntu wallpapers but okay <laughs> that's cool. And you can also take a screenshot and then some quick, uh, some, uh, quick um, links to some configuration files for you here. So all in all, very nice for a small lightweight distribution. Um, thank you for uh, pointing this one out to me, Andy. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date. Every time I upload a new video to my channel, I still have a bunch of other distros I've downloaded that I've yet to review, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this video and get on the next one. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.